Hey guys, Miss Tate here. So, you know, like when you're adding and subtracting, uh, say you have this problem, 6 plus 7 plus 3. You know how you can like move the numbers around. You don't necessarily have to do it in this exact order, you still get the same thing. So instead of doing 6 plus 7, sitting there going like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and doing like 13 plus 3, 13, 14, 15, and getting 16. Remember, um, in past, you we learned that you can move these numbers around, right? You can shift them. So you don't have to do 6 plus 7 first. You could do uh, 7 plus 3 first if you wanted to, because I know 7 plus 3 is 10. And 10 plus 6 is a whole lot easier than sitting here and doing this, 6 plus 7 plus 3. So you can shift the numbers around. You can do that with whole numbers. But did you know you could also do that with fractions, and that's what we're going to practice doing today, is manipulating the numbers a little bit to make it a little bit easier. Let me show you another one with a whole number again, just real quick. So here's another one, right? Instead of me going, okay, 15 plus 8, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, that's 23, plus 5 more, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and getting 28. Instead of doing it that way, I'm going to move these around a little bit to make it easier. So I notice that 15 and 5, I know, can go together. 15 and 5, I know, is 20. So then I have 8. So now it's real simple. It's just 20 plus 8. And I know the answer is 28. So you can move the pieces around to make it easier for you. In addition, right, you can move the pieces. They don't have to be in a particular order. So we're going to do that, but with fractions. So let me get it ready for us. Look at this problem. We have 2 and 4 eighths plus 2 and 1 eighth plus 7 eighths. Now I'm going to look at this 7 eighths who's out here because look, I notice that 7 eighths and 1 eighth, if I combined those together, 7 eighths and 1 eighth would be 8 eighths, which is the same as one whole, right? So if I combine these one whole with these two holes already, so that's two plus these two together would be one. I know that's three total. So now it's a whole lot easier. I can do three plus two and four eighths. And all I have to do now is add the whole numbers. So three plus two is five in the fraction piece that's left over is four eighths. So I have five holes and four eighths. And I did that by not adding these first, but I looked to say, oh, that would make a whole. Seven eighths plus the one eighth. I'm gonna turn these two pieces into one. I'm gonna add that one to these two. So those two plus one is three. And just add it to this piece left over. Three plus two and four eighths is a total of five and four eighths. Let's try another one. Okay, here's another one. We have 2 and 7 eighths plus 2 and 5 eighths plus 3 and 3 eighths. Normally these parentheses tell you that we're supposed to add these ones first, but with math, we don't, and with addition, we don't necessarily have to follow that. Because instead of adding those two first, I'm going to look to see what I can make a whole. So I am looking to make 8 eighths somehow because my denominator is eighths. Well, if I add. 5 eighths plus these 3 eighths. If I add those together, what's 5 eighths plus 3 eighths? 5, 6, 7, 8 should be 8 eighths, right? So that should be one whole. So these two pieces are one whole combined. Add that with these whole numbers. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, plus this one would be 6 wholes, right? because I have two plus three, which is five, plus these two pieces made one. So five plus one, I have six holes out of this whole thing is six holes. So now I just need two and seven eighths plus six. All I have to do is add the whole numbers. Six plus two is eight, and this fraction piece stays the same. So we have eight holes and seven eighths. All right, take a look at this one. 7 twelfths plus 5 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. 
Now, I could mentally do this and try to do 7 plus 5, then 5 plus 2, um, and I would get 14 twelfths. But my answer, what if this is an improper fraction? What if I need it as a whole number and a fraction? So I would be looking to make a whole. So my denominator is 12. What equals a whole in this case? 12 twelfths. So do any of these add up to make 12? Yes. 7 plus 5, right, make 12. So 7 fifths plus, I mean, sorry, 7 twelfths plus 5 twelfths, these two together should make 12 twelfths, which is the same as one whole. Now just add it with this 2 twelfths that's left, and we get one whole and 2 twelfths, which is the same as our 14 twelfths that we would have had up here, right? Because 12 twelfths plus 2 twelfths would give us our 14 twelfths. But I want to write it like this, one whole and 2 twelfths. Okay, write this one down. This is our last one, and then you guys are going to try it on your own. Okay, so we have 3 wholes and 1 fourth plus 2 wholes and 3 fourths plus 6 wholes and 2 fourths. Now, I'm looking at just at the fraction pieces. I'm trying to make whole numbers. Um, so for this case, what would give me whole numbers? 4 fourths, right? So look, if I take this 1 fourth and add it just to this 3 fourths, that would, these together, would be 1 whole, right? 1 fourth and 3 fourths is the same as 4 fourths, which is a whole. So now I have... 3, 4, 5, 6. So this whole section right here is equal to 6 wholes plus add this last one 6 and 2 fourths. So my answer should be 6 plus 6 is 12 and keep the fraction 2 fourths. So 12 and 2 fourths.